Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading. What we're looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. They, they're confident, um, six of wands, but this is someone who can be very hard on themselves, a bit nitpicky. So that is where they need to, you know, an aspect of themselves they need to work on but overall six of wands yes this person's confident courageous and they have a for the most part self healthy uh, self-image but they are it's almost as if they're moving on for some from something a past relationship that is coming through but they're gaining their peace of mind it's almost and going with the flow that is their energy for how others perceive them we have fourth house jupiter ace of swords page of swords three of cups so friendly um can be quite chatty chatterbox is coming through um but yeah good communicator extremely intelligent is how others perceive them they could be on the younger side more youthful demeanor this is someone who could have a large family or families important to them i'm getting a mm, i'm not getting an introvert or extra kind of in the middle they can be they need they like to go out they have a lot of friends but they also like spending time alone with them maybe they like get togethers at home that is coming through as well hosting parties nice genuine person is how other people view them quite curious as a person perhaps asks a lot of questions let's see their heart space how they experience and deal with emotions so we have ascendant pisces nine of swords nine of cups you know this is someone who when they're going through a rough time they like to withdraw or they like to show the world that they're fine so I, they may have an issue with being vulnerable um, with everyone. They're, they're quite guarded, actually. And I see that for your first impression of them as well. So, yeah, they like to deal on, with things on their own. They are quite sensitive, very emotional person, but it's with it's hidden almost. Yeah, that that is another thing, right? That if... They need to be more vulnerable and expressive with their emotions and they're quite hard on themselves and that is coming through twice in their overall energy and also how they deal with emotions. For their mental space and their thoughts, we have eight house square, three of pentacles, six of cups. This is beautiful, but I'm get again getting secretive energy coming from them. But this is someone who likes to work together with people. I was saying friendly, that's coming through again. You know, really exchanging ideas with people. I am getting a talkative person here, but also a great listener. So they're balanced in that way. But yeah, their innermost self they may have a lot of secrets they people may think they know this person with that three of cups but i don't think they really do a very private individual but easy going in their communication style i don't think they have any major issues here the only issue is they're not sometimes not the most vulnerable person but they'll listen to you if you have a problem they'll be friendly they'll be there They'll lend an ear and they will give you guidance or support here with that Six of Cups. For their spirituality, we have Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Um, They can be spiritual. I'm having a hard time saying if they are or they're not. Because these two cards can be quite practical or more based on chasing material goods. So some of them are extremely busy and they don't have time or they don't make time for spirituality. Mm, leaning more towards them being religious, but mm, it's 50-50. It's for your first impression of them, we have seven of wands, eight of swords. You'll see them as quite defensive, guarded, introverted almost, not revealing much. And I see that here. We have seeking guidance and in it to score. So this signifies that you won't trust this person when you first meet them. 
your future person and you'll think that they may be a player or just distrust here so i think you all will be seeking guidance through tarot readings perhaps on youtube if you read tarot yourself but you'll be leaning on your spirituality to figure this individual out and a lot of this because they're not revealing much right with the eight of swords seven of wands for your circumstances in life when you meet we have queen of pentacles seven of swords knight of wands see you're in a position a good position financially you're quite stable um perhaps you're in the career that you've wanted you're doing well you're, you're secure within yourself, but some of you could be meeting through work. We do have the King and Queen of Pentacles with Ten of Pentacles. This will be a very stable, long-term union, Aries. I'm seeing that. But we have Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. So around the time you meet your future spouse, it could be that you were cheated on. Someone ghosted you. But this is player-like energy coming through. Yeah, some of you may have been in a relationship that was on again, off again, or player energy or someone that ghosted, cheated. If that's not the case, say you've been single your whole life, and that will be very few of you, but it could be that you're scared. You have your boundaries up because you're scared of being cheated on or running into a player. That's a possibility as well. For your future spouse, first impression of you, we have four of wands, eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles. This is beautiful. They see the opportunity right away. And this person, you know, they're quite perceptive in the sense they can recognize a good opportunity, um, something that has value with that king of pentacles. But it's almost with their energy. We have special to me, wasting time and confused. So they notice that they have a special connection with you, but if you're not giving them much because they're not, it could be there's some mirroring going on, they may feel that that they're wasting their time on you, that this isn't going to go anywhere. They want a commitment with you, perhaps even a family, because King of Pentacles always, you know, they don't invest in anything that isn't long term or provide some value in their life and they see that in you they see value in you and they want something stable here a commitment but some of you may not trust this right away and that is where that wasting time they may feel that their efforts are in vain that this isn't going anywhere you're not giving them the time of the day you may make this person work for your affection especially if you've recently you know went through a breakup you're careful this time around for your future spouse, life circumstances when you meet, we have Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, the world. So they're completing a cycle of their own, perhaps getting out of a relationship. We did have Five of Cups, Six of Swords. Some of them could be literally traveling, moving, um, but they're ready. I think in their life, they're open, receptive to love. Very fun, flirty, lighthearted energy coming from them. So I think they're in a good space, but... Yeah, they're starting a new cycle. There's a new beginning in their life. And perhaps well settled in their career and they're looking for a stable partner now. Let's look at your oracle cards. So we have, let's start with, oh yeah, let's start with these. We have blocked from love. So there may be emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love. It's time to release it. Yeah, this is coming through. It could be your partner, but I also see this in your energy. So some of you, there's some healing that needs to be done before this person can enter. But I'm getting it on both of your sides, really, because they're also getting through something or going through something. We have friends first. You're attracting a new love that will begin as a friendship. It will develop into something more. Yeah, so if some of you, you know, are sensing that hesitation from your side and their side, right? Seven of Wands. So it, it'll develop slowly. And King and Queen of Pentacles, you're both in that 
earth energy it doesn't rush things there's some more slow and steady progress here and we have on guard guards will be up in this relationship it's okay to be cautious and take it slow but make an effort to trust a little more that's funny it's confirming everything i was saying to you so guards will be up friends first and slowly you'll build your way up to a commitment marriage from there if that is what you want and we have let's see this we have feeling unwanted oh this is sad we have tenderness and feeling unwanted so yeah someone here could be feeling like they don't have options you know just insecurities they're not good enough i saw that in your person's energy remember i think they have a lot of self-doubt sometimes because they're hard on themselves but they present a brave face to the world i saw that in their emotional expression and also in their self-image so it could be them but if you've been through a recent breakup it could be you as well see she's standing here alone where there's other couples so some of you could be looking at other people married or in relationships and you've been single for a while and that makes you feel a certain way but this person will really help you help each other heal is what i'm trying to say with tenderness very affectionate towards one another and quite understanding compassionate beautiful very gentle with one another and then we have erotic the erotic <laughs> so these two people are naked on this image <laughs> so i think yeah sexual chemistry will be off the charts that's not something you have to worry about and look at this card with letting go healing we have this woman she's waving to this man who's leaving in a boat but she has someone else standing behind her so yeah a lot of you you know someone ghosted or cheated and it's saying keep faith because the real deal is behind you and it doesn't matter this is you know gender doesn't matter it could be your man watching and you've been through a traumatic breakup or something okay and then we have let's see this together again so i clarified together again some of you very few of you maybe five percent could have a past person that was juggling and with chosen and changing um they're transforming and they will be ready for a commitment so this can be a past energy but that's for very few of you and then we have sealed with a kiss so again i think i the chemistry coming through and late night scrolling some of you this is an online connection perhaps meeting online somehow dating site social media but this more so talks about your person was coming through as a page of swords they're quite you know they like to do their detective work because they don't trust easily so spying on one another is coming through you will be through you know getting readings on this person do tarot cards or spirituality whatever you believe in and this person perhaps more practical i'm not saying spiritual people aren't practical i don't know why i say that but it's more so they're they may not be the most spiritual so they're trying to gather information about you who you're talking to whose pictures are you liking that sort of thing they can be a bit possessive your cards are really giving me a story here because we have queen of cups page of wands two of cups lovers look at this energy i want to show you this it's beautiful yeah some of you have been single for a while perhaps waiting watching you're ready emotionally receptive look at this energy between the both of you i think you're represented by the queen of cups and then we have king of cups look at this love lovers two of cups extreme emotional and physical compatibility here but one of you is still stuck in some past situation which is if you haven't met this person that is why they're stuck in some other situation let's see let's get more about your person's personality but i'll use just the astrological cards for this one seventh house so that is libra taurus 
Yeah, okay, specifically Taurus coming through in your first spread, Aries. Aquarius, interesting. Sextile, opportunity. Pisces. Virgo, yeah, Virgo, strong um, in your first spread as well. Why is that? Beautiful. Yeah, moon, seventh house, strong emotional connection. And you were coming through as the king and queen of cups. Very easy going person, Aries. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Your person is extremely chill. Very chill. They like to go with the flow. Easy going person. There's something distinct about them with all this uranus aquarius energy but what i'm getting is a lot of you will meet out of the blue i don't think you'll expect this and it's almost love at first sight with that venus aquarius seventh house yeah very out of the blue meeting for you both but yeah very gentle sensitive person again with that virgo though they're they're it's repeating a lot of what i already told you someone who's quite hard on themselves especially perhaps in regards to work someone who's quite it says methodical insightful healthy discerning subtle pure refined accurate critical nervous perfectionist so yeah they can be a bit of a perfectionist but they have a good balance you know water and earth and that was coming through in your first spread as well sometimes maybe shy passive type with mars and pisces coming through maybe afraid of rejection but i'm almost getting they're the ones who will come after you but this person's style of courting you will be very soft you know candlelight dinners whispering sweet nothings very kind sensitive person and that's coming through here as well cancer seventh house so i think strong emotional bond coming through it could be that you have strong sun conjunct moon or moon conjunct moon sinistry in your chart but yeah two people who feel very safe comfortable your person has a hard time letting their guard down and perhaps you do as well but you'll feel safe enough to really let your guard down with one another this person will be able to discuss share their secrets with you they'll trust you with aquarius uranus they can be <laughs> you know i want to get more on this here if i can some of them are a different race or culture or from a distance whoa yeah there's distance long distance Uh, yeah, Mercury, Sagittarius, quite talkative. Did I say that? Chatterbox? Yeah, this is coming through. Um, very curious person. Quite observant as a person and sometimes may lack a filter, so they may speak before they think. Um, but yes, there's differences here for sure. Travels coming through, long distance, online communication for some of you. But they're, they're maybe a bit opposite from what you are. Whether that's, uh, you know, age difference. I wasn't getting that too strongly. It's a possibility. Um, or religions, different country, location. That is coming through here. 
Let's see some characteristics, Aries, for your person. Indecisive. Okay. It's air energy coming through. Medium height. Jealous. Oh, yeah, we had late night scrolling. They can be a bit suspicious. Forgiving. That's nice. This person's beautiful. Look, self sacrificing. Whoa, didn't I say? I said unexpected meeting, but it says love at first sight. A gentleman, courteous, daring. We'll get one more. Appreciative. They could have a air moon, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius moon. Specifically Libra moon. Hmm. But do you see this? We have forgiving, self-sacrificing we had that moon and seventh house coming through yeah <laughs> you, you have arguments this person will be the first one to apologize they have no issue doing that compromising yeah for sure and that uranus aquarius energy it's love at first sight for one or both of you i was getting more so for your person though yeah they can be quite jealous possessive territorial almost with that page of swords because they, they have some fears of being cheated on or being left out in the cold. Could be because they were cheated on in the past. We have gentlemen, courteous, you know, good manners. Whatever you consider as good manners or how you want to be treated, this person will do that for you. And I'm also getting someone who will properly court you. So I think they'll take their time and they can be quite traditional. And we have a daring. This is interesting because they're shy, but they're daring. Interesting. But we had Mars and Pisces. So I think they will take that risk and come towards you. Although with that Mars and Pisces, they're a bit shy, but very appreciative. This is not someone who will take you for granted. Very grateful individual. And will appreciate the little things you do for them really nice sweet energy it's actually my favorite so far so i'm getting a more of a piscean vibe water sign vibe from this person but yeah sometimes they have a hard time making up their mind also someone who can see things from different perspectives which is why perhaps libra energy coming through but yeah aries that is what i have for you hopefully this was helpful uh, do like and comment if you enjoyed this reading. Otherwise, take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.